Hey YouTube, this is Rockham the Gamer 81. I know I haven't made a vlog in a while and stuff, but I just want to um, open up this package to see what I got. I might want to do a, a movie review, so let's just see what's in this little Amazon package. Hold on. A fish that saved Pittsburgh on DVD. I been wanting to do this movie review for a long time. Always. I'm sorry for the bad lighting. But let me tell you something about uh, A Fish That Saved Pittsburgh. A Fish That Saved Pittsburgh is a movie about a basketball team. I don't know. I haven't seen this at all. But I heard it was like a great movie. And it also has like... Um, it also has cameo appearances from Debbie Allen, Stalker Chains in this movie. Uh, I think Jonathan Winters is in this movie. Um, like legendary um, basketball greats like Mel Lark Lemon. You got Kareem Abdul Jabbar. You got Margaret Avery, best known as Suge Avery. I think that is her from the movie Color Purple, yeah. Debbie Allen's in this movie. Julius Carey, best known as Show Nub, he's in this one too. Uh, Flip Wilson is actually on there. Did I mention Stalker Channing? Stalker Channing was in this movie. Oh, and one of my favorite groups in this movie of A Fish That Saved Pittsburgh, best known for the song Boogie Fever. Yes, I'm talking about. The family Silvers, the Silvers family, Edmund, James, Ricky, Pat, Angie, Baby Foster. Well, he ain't a baby no more. But you know what? This movie, I got to see. This is one of the classics that everybody, if you like basketball comedy and stuff, like, see, okay, it kind of like reminds you of watching the football comedy called Wildcats or, you know, this is something that you will probably might like. You know, kind of like Eddie. We started Whoopi Goldberg. Well, if you haven't um, seen uh, A Fish That, see that Saves Pittsburgh, this is the movie you got to see. A Fish That Saves Pittsburgh. This is off the chain. I am so glad I bought this movie. This is something I always wanted to see. It's so hard to find these in um, DVD video stores because it wasn't really a like a big selling movie or whatever but for those who like the old school um legendary underrated box offices and you like the old school movies check this one out this is off the chain i'm gonna do more um movie reviews soon so you guys have a great day i will talk to you guys later rock signing out